Okay, so we're here as guys and gals finish up building their armies for the night. And Lewis has an interesting looking helmet here. What is this? Yeah, this is a, uh, this would be a hind pilot's helmet. So you can see here, it's, it would be really designed for bump protection. It's not really ballistically protected. It's only made from plastic. Um, a uh, shatterproof visor operated by a latch on the side, which folds down in front of the pilot's face. Um, they would have had a, an oxygen mask as well, but I suppose at the altitudes they were operating at, you wouldn't really need it. Um, there is an inner cap on the inside, which is, as you can see, that's the outer helmet. And that's where all the business is. That's your communications, your um, your throat mic, your oxygen mask would link onto the, the actual mm -hmm. um, in, inner part itself. It wouldn't actually link onto the helmet. Um, you've got three straps here, and then you've got the cups for the, uh, the headphones here, and your throat mic. Now, I've been told that apparently you can actually rig these up to be um, compatible with iPods. Okay. I have no real credible evidence to say that that works, but apparently it does. But this is in full working order. Um, I got this in Prague a few years ago, and yeah, it's always been really a talking piece. So this is actually a two-piece. Even this is still yeah. used? This is still used, yeah. So whereas my flight helmet was all a one-in built-in harness? Yes, with theirs the is actual uh, separate. Um, the bear, bear pilots, the likes of the uh, the bear bombers, they would have wore the same thing, but they would have negated that because they wouldn't have really needed it. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just a flight cap, and that's more or less for bump protection. And if anything shatters in the inside of the cockpit, it just protects your face from it. Okay. And it just has the one visor, whereas my helmet had the clear yeah. and the. Smoke yeah, that one visor. would have just had one visor, which was just the sun tinted one. So, um, and the oxygen mask is it's a different sort of setup, whereas a lot of NATO pilots. Um, would have, it would have just been a single strap that went across your face. The um, the MiG and uh, Hind pilots, theirs is actually strapped up the middle, and you'd only really see, um, the only part of your face that would be exposed is more or less the corner or your eyes where the actual cap would meet. So that's the only part of your face you could see. So the jet pilots and the rotors? Yeah, we're basically wore the same, same thing, um, except obviously the, the rotor pilots maybe just didn't wear the oxygen mask, depending on what altitude they were operating at. So this is what the Soviets use? And they're going to need a lot of these because the Americans are going to make them all burn and crash.